This is the Catholic Bible, okay? So if you look at this, you will see in the Catholic Bible, chapters you will not find in the Protestant Bible. So you see this is Tobit and Judith, these ones, and the Siraj, right, yeah. here, Baroch. Now if you look at this here, King James Version, yeah, yeah, yeah. Christian Bible, the regular that you guys see all the time, right? Now, if you look at the table of contents, there is no Tobit here. Right? Go through it, you can look at yeah, it, yeah, right? Yeah. Those chapters are in the Catholic Bible, but not in the Protestant Bible. Yeah. All right? We're going to do a fun social experiment today. You're going to have some fun? Yeah, good. All right, cool. What's your name? Francisco. Francisco. CJ. CJ. All right. Here, this is Luke 9. Verse 56. Okay. All right, hold it for me. Yeah. All right. Francisco. This is the New World Translation. Okay. It's a lot. Yeah. But you Same. guys only have one book, though. It's only one Quran. Yeah, but right? the kind of Christianity, like there are, there are many different kinds of Bibles. So now this is same Luke 9, 56, right? Yes. You read. So yeah, so you yeah, read yours first, says, and you read yours. For the Son of the Man did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Okay, so they went to a different village. <laughs> now check it. Is it the same verse, same it's chapter? Not, it's not. This is not the same. No, but look at the numbering. The same 56. Verse 56. Verse 56. You see that? So this is... Mormon? Yeah, this is Mormon. This is, this is Joe Witnesses. Right? Oh, the, Book of, Joe, Joe, yeah, Joe. the Book of Mormon is a whole different, and that's another one, right? Really is. Right. This is Joe Witnesses. This Joe, is their yeah, translation. Elvis Witness. Yeah. Okay. The, the New World Translation. That comes through. Yeah, the ones that bother you. Oh, yeah. This is from a Christian who wrote a whole book on Luke, right? This is a Reverend David Teedy. He's a Lutheran and he's a professor. And he tells us right here, he goes, the narrative remains, Luke, an anonymous ancient document of uncertain origins. We don't even know who wrote these books, right? He says, while the narrative never identifies the author by name, and it's Christian, so it's not a Muslim, right? But it dated to second, to the late part of second and early third century. Early third century, there was there, there, there's the earliest dating, right? The earliest manuscript that you see is in the fourth century, right? The the complete manuscript being seven. So these were all written way after Jesus. These aren't the words of Jesus. This is not the gospel of Jesus. Now, I'm going to show you one that's going to blow your mind away, right? And you're going to read it just so you don't think I'm messing with it, right? Second Kings, eight. 26. Isaiah was 20 years old when he became king and he resigned. He, right, he Rain. reigned one year in Jerusalem. Okay, so how old was he? 22, 20. right? It says 20. It says 22, oh, yeah, 22, 22 years old, right? Now in the same Bible, we're gonna go to now Chronicles. That was 2 Kings, right? Yeah. 2 Chronicles. Chapter 22, verse 2. Go ahead. Isaiah was 40, 42 years old when he became king. He resigned with one year in So you saw the earlier one, he was 22. And here he's what? 42. 42. How old was he? Right? Now, I looked it up in a study Bible to know what Christian scholars said. This is there. This is a copyist error. <laughs> this is a study Bible. This is what they study in universities and Protestants and, and preachers, the MacArthur Study Bible. They're telling you there's errors in the Bible. Right? So I have the Greek Bible, right? I'll show it to you. This is the Greek Bible, right? And this shows you the English translation and all of Look at the differences between each page between the different manuscripts. Yeah. The contradictions and errors. So what does that tell you? This is not preserved. This Quran, you have a Quran? I don't, but... You do now. Thank it's you. It's free. I will read. I will you have one too, Christopher. All free from us, right? This is the preserved message of God. Without changes, without alterations, without man's additions, without any contradictions.